Hello and welcome back to Europa Navalis for the Great Khan. So, where are we? Well, we have vassals who want to leave us, we have no money, we have uh, not a lot of prospects. But, on the positive side, it does look like we might finally be able to end internal conflicts. Or at least get very close to it, because all we need to do is to get rid of unrest, we need to raise our stability and get rid of war exhaustion. Done. To, uh, to get rid of to get the stability one, we just need to get to sp stability level 2 when we have minus on national unrest, it'll be fine. Everything's looking fine there. Um, there is a large chance the Ottomans will attack us. I mean, they still hate us and have a mission, I believe, to conquer Mesopotamia. Would that be... That's down here, so actually they might not go straight for us. I think that's right. Uh, do we have a region map mode? Uh, anywhere it wants to tell us? It's not going to tell us. Unless it's up here. I don't know. It doesn't seem obvious that they're going to attack us, so... Uh, we could just look at who they have claims against, actually. Hmm. Okay, maybe they're... Maybe they have a mission to attack us. Possibly. So yeah, if the Ottomans don't attack, we'll be fine, though. We do have bankruptcy we need to get rid of. That'll be gone in... In seven years. And we can annex Naj in, uh... Eight years. So, let's let everything move on. Uh, Lithuania are getting cores on our cores. We discovered a bay. Fine. Yeah, this is a... I did reset uh, the game, so... We're going to get a whole bunch of these popping up. Discovery spread. Fine. Fine. Um, looks like Bukara, our ally, though, is going to take over a lot of Nogai, which could mean that they're weak enough that we can attack if we didn't have the negative morale. We're also going to try and get enough manpower that we can actually then spend some of it to regain our army. Oh, they peaced out. Kiva has switched vassalage to Bukhara. Um, Nogai gave two provinces. Yeah, it looks reasonable. And they are no longer overlords of Kazan. Interesting. They don't hate want our provinces yet, do they? No, they would if they took Kiva, I think. Which is a bit of a problem. Uh, Kazan is going to be very quickly eaten by Russia, I would imagine. We could attempt to get up there and attack. Maybe get one of our allies to do most of the work. It's not, it's not going to work. Uh, rival announced Spain have announced Lithuania is the rival. Good, good. Hopefully these two have grown too big and are starting going to start getting rivaled by the uh, big European powers. Uh, okay, where's these rebel rebels? 2.2 uh, 2 years. We just have to pay these rebels off. Uh, Kara is not going to become a free thing. Well, we can boost our stability. Of course we'll boost our stability. Um, 2.7 years. Let's harsh treatment them as well. Let's just spend all of our points keeping our nation together. Unrest is now... Only 5.8. Let's reduce war exhaustion. 3.7. 18 years. 21 years. Looks like we're not going to get any rebels for ages now. Fantastic. Uh, Russia. Oh, I was wrong. They're going to declare war on Nogai, not Kazan. Of course. Of course, they're going to eat all of Nogai. Uh, which will make Nogai a good target for us soon. Um, Do we want to gain gold or we want to gain prestige? Do we have any loans? As in, do we actually have to pay any loans. We do actually have to pay a loan. I guess we'll get the gold. I mean, our prestige is already awful, so we might as well just get the uh, gold off of it. Alright, yes, our power projection is so low that we can't actually get it to go higher than zero. Which is a pain, because power projection is really useful. Uh, we can't even do any tricks to get it higher. I guess... We might be able to negate the uh, Russia and Lithuania taking provinces if we were to take, attack Russia and Lithuania and take their provinces, but perhaps not. Who are our rivals? I believe... Alright, they're Ottomans, Lithuania, and Russia, so... We did go for the uh, big targets. Mm, there's really nobody we can get rid of here from it. I like it. Russia aren't actually our rivals anymore. They, they just hate us. 
That's a different uh, way of doing it. Uh, what are we getting? All these discovery spreads. Ah, we're getting to see what's over here. Yep, pretty much normal. Nothing too exciting. How much is the next uh, stability level? Out of curiosity. Uh, 180. It's fine. We are almost at just three unrest, which would be nice. Maybe we'll get some events that give us stability, because there are some events to get out of internal conflicts. There just aren't in, just aren't that many of them. Like there are events that give you lowered unrest. There are events that give you some stability. Oh, poor uniforms, of course. Uh, we need uh, minus five morale on top of our minus a hundred morale negative, and our minus ten for being national conflicts. Another minus ten from something else. Uh, Persian sept. Wait, does that say? Yeah, Persian separatists. Where are they? Right here they are. One point eight years. Need two hundred to harsh treatment them. Okay. Okay. It's not looking good. We just need to keep an eye on them. Persian Septists. When they get to 90%, that's when we need to worry. But they can, it only goes up 10% each tick. That's a guarantee. So, we should be fine. Oh, 60%? Yeah, it's just a race between our military power and their... Uh, wanting to revolt. We do have a few places we could possibly raise... Uh, uh, raise autonomy in Loristan, 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 Loristan. I'm just want to find where the rough there is. Loristan. Yeah, we can raise autonomy in these places. That'll do. We can't actually fight, so. A uh, Bushir. Bushir. They should all be in this area, which is why I'm having trouble uh, working out where they're not available. Ilam. Oh, there's Ilam. What else do we have? We have Seman, Zenan. We have Yaju, Yasuj, Yasuj, and Bandin Lag. All right, there's the other one. Persian Separatists should no longer be a worry for us then. Fourteen years. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll accept 14 years. That's fine. More discovery spread. We are learning all about over there. Over the ocean. Not that we've ever seen the ocean. Like, we don't really know what the ocean is. We, 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 we live next to it, but we've never gone out onto it. Yeah. We're actually not making a, hell, a lot of money in Astrakhan anymore. Because Russia, ha Russia and Lithuania both actually have power in it now. Which is very annoying. And, and no guy has a lot of power in it. It could be beneficial for us to, uh, to at some point change to Persia now. Because it looks like we're going to start... We're losing a lot in Astrakhan to Crimea. We're losing a lot to other places. Because before, Crimea was drawing nothing because we controlled the entire node. Now Lithuania controls most of the node. They're actually pulling in a lot of uh, power from this uh, node here. Like They're pushing it forward. Which is a bit of a problem for us. All things considered. Not much we can do about the problem, but it is a problem. Georgian Separatists. Aha. Uh -huh. You're still 15 years. You are in the center here, aren't you? Yep. What other provinces do we have? We have... Wait, what was that? We have... Abba, Kazia, and Mingratli. Right, there's one. And there's the other. Done. Nice and simple. Uh, Baluchistan will, is growing larger. It's actually quite bad. We have no way east unless we want to attack through Baluchistan. Not that we can attack anyone, but... It's nice to uh, play pretend. Russia has pieced out. No guy did pretty much what we did and gave them whatever they wanted. That's not good. Uh, stop trying to prove relations with them. Fine. Who are we trying to prove relations? Baluchistan? 
Oh, they've, they've only gone... They've now bird with us. That's not good. How do we make them more than bird? Probably just improve relations. Yeah, that means they'll only join defensively. They won't join offensively. Which is fine, because we could really only attack Persia if we were going to attack anyone. It does mean we can't use them to kill Persia, though. Which is a bit annoying. And if we eat Persia, Baluchistan will actually hate us, so... It's not really that big a deal. It means we won't get to use them an extra time. Here we got here, Persian Separatists are still the big one. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, yes, we could get Admin Tech, but we actually need to raise our stability! Almost at negative. Fantastic. 333.3 years. Oddly specific. Very close to going past the annoying points. Uh, ooh, who we got? We got rivals. Kazan have set no guy as their rival. No guy have set Kazan as their rival. No guy no longer considers Bukhara their rival. Um, Bukhara have set Delhi as their rival. Okay, that's fine. I see how the chain worked. So basically, Kazan set no guy, which allows no guy to set Kazan, who then. This then meant that Bukhara no longer could rival Nogai, who then rivaled Delhi instead. All makes a lot of sense. What have we got? Local tax increase? That's a positive event. Not seen one of those in the wild for so long. Uh, discoveries of Mystic. I'm going to try increasing the speed a little bit. See how this goes. Just continue sitting here, letting things kind of go as they'll go. Okay, Harold, we have reached our max relations with Yemen. Yemen no longer is no longer hostile to us, but doesn't like us. Uh, who else are we going to try? Maybe we could... Mamluks are friendly towards us. Maybe we could try and get another alliance with them. We're our, we are actually at our max, though. Hmm... Oh, we don't have a royal marriage with Oman, but they won't accept because they're over 50%. And they have a disloyal attitude. Okay, Hejaz. We could try improving relations with them, see if we can get them below uh, zero. I think that means they might remove their rival status of us. Basically, just trying to get rid of threats. Like, if they're not going to attack us, then that's good. And that's pretty much the logic I'm going to go with. Musket or bow. An argument is broken out in court over the importance of musket. Um, army tradition or military cost. I think we're already so far... We have no army tradition, so... It's an easy choice. Very easy choice. Pretend a rebel... No! Wait, how did rebels just appear? Um, Here's a thing. Can we just say yes? Wait. Oh, they appeared in Oman? Why do I care? Karakanunu Separatist. Ten years. Um, yeah, we're not really worried about them. If it lasts another three... Like, in three years, we get rid of all of that. So, that's fine. We get rid of the bankruptcy, which get, gives us more... Like, that gives us more uh, stability. Well, not stability, but it gives us more... Less unrest. That's the better way of putting it. Yemen were at war with Persia? Oh, Persia were... At war with... Uh, Sharar, the people we released. We gained a reconquest, cast his belly against Persia. How nice. Uh, do we want stability or not want... Don't want stability. Not stability, piety. We probably want to go as low on piety as possible so we can get the tech cost negative... Because that will allow us to catch up. Just a little bit. Persian pretender rebels have crossed our border. That's fine. You can leave now. Baluchistan. Uh, we got to max relations with them. They're, they're still bird. They're still bird. Okay. Who else are we going to improve? We could try and improve relations with Kiva if we wanted to at some point. 
support their independence. Mm, mm, it's not that big a deal to me. Could try improving relations with Kazan, see if they would at some point accept vassalization. Oh no, we own their provinces, they'll never see us. I forgot we still have this one province off in the uh, center of Europe. Well, not really center of Europe, but it's off on its own. Um, We'll improve relations with the Mamluks. We might say no to an alliance, but we might as well... If we ever wanted the alliance, we need them in position to, to get it. Which works for me. Truce with Kazan has ended. Truce with Nogai has ended. Truce with Kiva has ended. Luckily, our allies are actually capable of fighting Nogai and Kiva and all that. And Kazan. Be nice if they attacked, even. It'd almost be helpful. Best in new technology. Does that mean we can get a stability increase? Yup. We are at negative unrest. We just need one more stability. We only have one set of rebels that can possibly pop. We got prestige. We recovered our negative stability. Oh, fantastic. Create a proper fleet. No way. Rival of a rival. Spain's opinion is at least 100. Spain has an opinion of 10. That's something we can do. Start improving relations with the Mamluks. Start improving relations with Spain. You know, if Spain wanted to be our ally, I wouldn't say no. They are very uh, well placed to help us fight. They're not that good against uh, fighting the Ottomans, but that's fine. They, they could possibly help. At the very least, they'd be part of the uh, calculations that the AI do to work out whether they want to go to war. They'd probably be like, oh, Spain, nope, not, not doing that. Uh, we've got a few rebels that are thinking about it. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Our royal marriage with Baluchistan has ended. Oh no. Uh, we want that back. Get the guy from Hejaz back. Oh, they sent us one themselves. Good. Good. They, they still want to be friends. Hejaz will improve relations with again. Almost got to the amount that we wanted to get to. I think I might actually have that diplomat maintaining relations with Nash, which is... Oh no, they, they can still be improved by 26 more. Wow. Ottomans became... I forgot, that's why the Ottomans weren't attacking us. They're westernizing. Ah, oh, we did it quicker than them. Yay us, I guess. Please don't attack us, Ottomans. Please don't attack us. Okay. We either get national unrest plus two everywhere, which is annoying. Very annoying. But probably the best option. I'll just lose prestige. It doesn't matter. Why are we losing money? What's costing us all this money? Interest? Oh, I think we had to take out another loan. I think that was it. We didn't have enough to repay the loan, so it took out more. Um, Or maybe we just have more men. No. Um, yep, nothing we can really do about that. Just kind of hope that we don't run out of money. I mean, I think bankruptcy actually reduces the amount of money we, we get. Yeah, which gives us more interest per annum. And could make things cost more. Uh, yeah, so that's probably what's causing us a lot of this trouble. So, in a year, we get rid of bankruptcy. Fantastic. I'm thinking, wait, Nash has cores everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, Nash has cores everywhere. We're not going to eat Nash in a year when we can. We're going to leave it. There's the Holy War in Kazan. Yep, they weren't long for this world. They are completely dead. Yeah, it's not a good day to be ne them. We can boost stability again. Fantastic. We are so close to getting rid of internal conflicts. Then the only thing that could happen to us is, is a civil war. Which we can probably get out of. We have high legitimacy. That's the only thing we got to keep. Is our legitimacy. Trier. Peace with Austria. Um, okay, let's... Reset this list a little bit. I don't think we need to know 
entirely about everything. Did I set him to maintain? I think I set him to maintain. I really want to uh, stop improving relations. Who else do we want to improve relations with? Probably... Or can we get any higher with Oman? We get a little higher with Oman. We'll uh, improve relations with them. We could uh, designate them as a march, actually. Or do something like that and then try and use them to give ourselves a bit a bigger army. How much are they paying us in taxes? Nothing. If we designate them a march, that might work quite well. Although they do have really high liberty desire. In a year, their liberty desire will go away anyway. No, I'm going to set them as a march. I've decided. I want to try out marches. They can go and they can be our army for us in this down there. Ottomans declared war on Mamluks. Perfect. That means they're not declaring war on us. Provincial unrest. Doesn't matter. Not important to us. High liberty desire went away. Did we just get rid of... Did bankruptcy just end? We're no longer bankrupt. We can afford to buy things again. Our interest just went down by four. Like the amount we have to pay went down by four. We've got morale in our armies. We're... This is a good position. We can get technology, which we are actually going to do. We're going to get some Diplotech. Haven't done that in a while. Just because we can. It does also mean that the vassals get less liberty desire, having higher Diplotech. Uh, mobs target unbelievers. Lose piety. Obviously. Keep losing piety. Uh, I think we're going to keep this going till we get rid of uh, internal conflicts. Just so that next time we start we can have a good nice, a good point to start from. A nice uh, powerful nation next to a very scary Russia. Very, very scary Russia. Okay. How much is stability? 230. So, quite a bit. Military divided. We can either have fort defense or siege ability. Siege ability, 100%. We have no forts. Uh, right, we'll maintain relations with Naj. We've completed rival of rival. We will get rid of that person doing that job. Reclaim, protect, create a property. We'll just take one and cancel it. You have loans. Yes, I know we have loans. We're slowly gaining money. We might actually be able to pay one off soon. Amazingly. Uh, diplomats. Wait. Were we not improving relations with old man? Oh, I don't think I ever actually sent him off. Oh, and we made him a march instead as well. Uh, raw marriage. Him. Just lower the liberty desire. Or it. Whatever. Them. Prove relations. And send our other diplomat off to. I don't know. Back to Picara? Yeah. That works for me. Ah. <sighs> A good spot. A lot of discovery spreads. All still of the new world. 50 uh, paper mana to go. So we can actually pay off our stability. We'll get our next level stability. There it is. Tech is still cheaper than stability which is crazy. It's actually crazy that our tech is cheaper than stability. We really need to get admin tech up as well so that we can get some uh, ideas going. Probably Diplo ideas, I'd reckon. They'll be the uh, easiest to get. Although military ideas would also be fine because we're pretty far... Uh, like, military is the one we're closest to being in time with. 
And we are here. Mission. Naval race versus Lithuania. Nope. Protector brethren. Rival of rival. Austria's opinion is at least 100. What's Austria's opinion now? 14? Yeah, we can do that. Stop improving relations with Naj. Start improving relations with Austria. Just check. Spain doesn't want the, that alliance, do they? No. no. They're not interested in it. Oh, we have enough. Stability. Boost. It should end in the next tick. Gain an extra... We are now at three stability. We are in the best position we have been in like years. Anyway. Gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll uh, probably do something. That'll be a change, won't it?